on this week's episode, All I Want is back at number one in the US and the UK. And we have a very juicy word on the street, so stay tuned to hear all about it. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Mariah Report. We have a jam-packed show for you, but before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the new and upcoming episodes. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And it's the Mariah Report, and we're here to report some good news, great news actually, but also expected as well. Yes, like it was, we totally knew this was happening. Mariah at number one again. Mm -hmm. um, so we will definitely be filling you in on all the new chart information because Mariah's breaking the records with All I Want th again this year. Every year it's yeah, bigger I and think, better. Right. And we actually have like a good update in, in the chart breaking, record breaking situation. <laughs> and so stay tuned. We're going to like really get into it. Yes. Yes. And we're going to, um, there's a big word on the street, like even outside of like the lamb world. And uh -huh. it's a big news. So we have, uh, we will talk, we will discuss, honey. We will discuss. But it's word on the street. Like it's not confirmed, but it's going to be big if it's a thing, if it's legit. Yeah. You know, but you'll find... when Mariah does things, she usually likes to go big. So we'll see. Also, um, we're not going to talk a lot of, I know it's been a big Mariah week. We're not going to talk about the, the concerts yet. Not so yet. We're sorry. We're, we have to apologize in advance. No, but we're going to give it to you good because we are obviously going to like talk about the Toronto shows and the New York show, but I'm going to go to the uh, Friday show, the final show. So we'll give you like not only discuss snippets from social media, I'll give you firsthand accounts and recaps of what I experienced. So we'll put that all together and we'll discuss it next week for Christmas. Yes, we'll have a whole show dedicated just to Merry Christmas to all, including mm -hmm. the CBS special. So we'll Right, that have... way everybody can watch it and we can all be on the yes. same page. Yes, so it's going to be everything all at once. We'll, you know, obviously mention that, honey, she's back on stage, but we'll talk about all of that in another episode next week. So please stay tuned and don't hate us. <laughs> no, <laughs> we'll have a great time talking about it next week. Yeah, but... it's going to be good. In the meantime, we would love it if you left us an Apple Podcast review, even just while you're listening to the show right now, head over to your Apple Podcast app and just scroll down. You see a reviews and comments section and hit the five-star button while you're there. It really helps us out on our end, helps the show grow, helps other, pe other people find us. And we read them out here on the Mariah Report. And so we have a new one, a new Apple Podcast review. It's from Darwin Flores. And they say, a must listen for all the latest Mariah happenings, five stars. I have to get my fix every week. Love to listen. That's it. Thank you. That's it. Boom. Simple. And we appreciate it. We appreciate it and love it. Yeah, um, and it really helps us out over here. It really does. All the comments, all the likes, the subscribes, all of that is really good. Um, but also, we're over there on YouTube mm -hmm. or right here on YouTube, depending on how you're listening to us. And we always get really great comments over there on a lot of the episodes we have. So I want to just read out a couple um, from recent episodes that sort of uh, will help fill in things. So thank you, all the lambs commenting. Um, this one is from our uh, most latest, uh, most recent episode. It's from Michelle. Uh, they say, I love you guys. When discussing the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, you forgot to mention Mariah helped NBC score their biggest ratings in years with almost 28 million viewers. Oh, yes. Also, I know, right? How could we forget that? I know, I know, I know. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, also, everybody kept asking what the umbrella was for since it wasn't raining. But to me, it represented a different kind of raining. Umbrella equals raining. Raining as in like um, like the raining queen. Oh. And tiara equals queen. And then the uh -huh. performance was of Christmas. So if you think about it, it's the reigning queen of Christmas. Okay. I mean, honey, if we're going to break it down, we got to break it down. And Michelle I mean, was it breaking makes sense. it down. Michelle's <laughs> making sense. 
<laughs> yes. And then she just closes it by saying, and it's very accurate since all I want for Christmas is you is now number one in eight countries, including the U.S. and the U.K., and Germany, and I was also happy to see Mariah post that video praising Darlene Love, and Darlene mm. Love's response was also nice. So the feud so is over. All of that. Yeah, the feud yes, is over. Exactly. Now. Feud is over um, because we know we've been who, what, why, where, when did anybody become the Queen of Christmas? And I think Mariah settled it. It's all over with. So um, we can put that to rest. Listen, it's yes. not a big deal. There's worse things in Absolutely. the world right now. Um, and the, the other comment I want to read very quickly is from another video that we have. Because we have other videos posted over there on uh, YouTube, like random Mariah moments or old school Mariah moments and things like that, not just the podcast. Mm -hmm. And um, somebody recently commented, Ali recently commented on our McDonald's when Mariah Carey takes over New York from 1999. She goes uh -huh. to McDonald's. Yes. Where you get the and photo for the t-shirt from. Exactly. Now we have a t-shirt from it. Mm -hmm. he, but they were saying, why didn't McDonald's do a Mariah Carey happy meal? She loved McDonald's during the rainbow air era. And imagine having a little heartbreaker toy. Now, when you think about it, how cute would that be? That would be super. Well, of course, we'll buy it. I'm down. Sign me up. Anything McDonald's. Well, I mean, and yes, there's I a mean, cheeseburger and a four piece nugget. I got it. I love yeah, it. And <laughs> they did recently start doing those adult Happy Meals. Yes, they did. They That's did. That's a thing. Uh -huh. And you know, Mariah loves a little cartoon thing. Yes. Especially Christmas. So, like, why not make a McDonald's one for a little, like, Heartbreaker? Like, back in the day, it would have been Heartbreaker. But, like, last year, they could have done, like, a little Christmas thing in the thing. Right. In the box of the toys or whatever. Yeah, a little like Cute. ornament or keychain. Oh, yes. Or a pin. Cute. Yes. Um, or when I was a little kid, they would have like little cars. Like what if it was like a little car with like a little Mariah with a Christmas hat on? Just That'd be cute. Around. <laughs> okay, cute. <laughs> Too many ideas, but yes. I know, I know, I, love, I know. They, they should have done like an actual Happy Meal, but last year was fabulous. It was a fabulous... Uh, campaign yeah it was great uh, it was great okay it was, it was um well okay where should we begin should we, should we get some little tidbits out of the way before we start to talk I about mean, all i want yeah well well we have to mention our word on the street but we do have a couple other little tidbits okay let's talk about the comic book that we yes. discussed last week mm -hmm. so apparently it's doing well number one on amazon on that particular chart. I forget the exact chart, maybe gra graphic novel oh. chart, but people are into the comic book, the Mariah comic book. Oh, all right. Selling, I know. selling. We love that. Selling, okay. selling. So I actually got my hands on a digital copy, so I got to read through it, and it's pretty cute inside. Really good um, animations or drawings, artwork, whatever you call it. Um, they sort of like, I guess they're like if you read the book, they take some scenes out of the book uh, and just like, you know, create drawing a comic strip to it. That's so that's kind of interesting to look at. And then they comes into like present day. Like they talk about the marriage to Tommy Matola. Mm. That woman that we don't like is mentioned in there. Mm. Mm. Interesting. So it has an interesting story arc in it. But quite okay. cute. Good for the collection. That's what I was gonna say. It's like the perfect Mariah Carey collectible. Exactly. Because I think it's just it's one of those interesting things. Not everybody can get a comic book. Just saying. Right. Yeah, Same. and again, our <laughs> listener uh, to the Mariah Report, Nelson Hernandez, did the, the the cover with the multiple Mariahs on the cover. So support Nelson. And there's also a holiday edition of the comic book too. Of Mariah. Oh yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. There's so you have options. Versions. Yeah. So um, get into it. And, it's good. Yes, honey, get into the comics. Why not? Especially if it's Mariah. Um, but here's the uh, another little quick little uh, tidbit of information out there. Uh, remember the show, what is it, um, Family Feud? We loved that yes. show back in the day. Yes, yes. Uh, well, you, same thing with Jeopardy. I love when Mariah appears on Jeopardy like as like a question or whatever. I know. Um, but this week she was on the Family Feud, and the uh, question was, what pop female singer has the best songs to karaoke to? And oh. Mariah was number one. Interesting. Uh, 
honey, you know these people are out here singing the Always Be My Babies, yes. the All I Want for Christmas is. Uh-huh. Um, Fantasy. What else are they going to be? Fantasy. You know they'd be singing all the classics. Yes, yes. It's true. Now, I don't know what that sounds like, but... <laughs> for them. Yeah. <laughs> for that. Yeah. <laughs> But you, I love when Mariah makes a little pop-up appearance on these game shows. It's cute. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, also it's what I found interesting. So, you know, we were discussing the Roblox. Mariah is going to be in that game. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. So this is new and interesting. I've learned this this week. There's something out there in the digital world called Virch. A what? A who? <laughs> It's basically like <laughs> digital merch. Like it's called vir- like virtual merch. Virch. It's a whole new category. Are you, are you kidding me? Yeah. But if you, so if you have Roblox, you can like buy digital outfits, I guess. And so, so far for Mariah, they're going to be selling a wig. <laughs> a beanie. No, a wig. A wig. <laughs> <laughs> a beanie and some earrings so far. You can like buy that. For your Mariah Roblox. I don't know what that means, but Virch is oh, available they're now. Like, they're like little people and you could... Oh, well, then we need those things. We need a wig. Yes. And we need the jewelry. Yes, exactly. Oh, what a... Yes, yes, we need those. We absolutely need those then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, those, then. Those are, are available. <laughs> All right. Okay. Then over there on the Roblox, does it cost money? I think, think it does. Well, you know, all these games, that's how they get you. That's how they make the money. I know. That's how they get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so other than that, I think we should talk about the big word in the non lamely world. Speaking of buying things in wigs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so just this week, there was um, an insider leaked some information. And yes. it is a possible word on the street. Alleged. Allegedly. Word on the street. No com- no sources that we, we know. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't me. Uh-huh. Allegedly. Uh-huh. Um, but they say that a Barbie Mariah Carey collaboration holiday edition um, is in the works. There have been some details that have been um a distributed about it right so i mean but no official word yet no official word yet and um, no picture of I it will, yeah very little information is known but my whole thing is wouldn't it already be out like because christmas is like literally like days away so like the holiday mm. season is now so it would have to be now mm-hmm. or mm-hmm next year well yeah it's probably too late for now unless it's like a super limited edition run uh but it could be it could be do we know Um, if the supply chain is still blocked maybe the the supply chain issues still (laughs) it just didn't make it if it's not the it's it's if it's not the 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 ship in the water then it's the train honey because the the shipment going, going crazy but I mean, I would love a, an official Mariah Carey Barbie doll. I mean, a lot of big celebrities have them. Yes. Um, so it, it is like actual Barbie. Like Missy Copeland has a Barbie. Yes. Um, yes. Brandy has a Barbie. I think yes. we need a Mariah Barbie for sure. And let me tell you, I know a few people who are doll collectors, and they were gagging. The doll it's- world is a whole other space. Honey, yes, yes. Uh-huh. yes, and it's not just like Mattel Barbie dolls. Like the doll world is a whole world. Yes, honey, you think? Uh, please, these people they love their dolls. They mm-hmm. are very serious, very. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, just to have everybody um, excited for a Mariah doll, mm-hmm. I love it. It'll be huge, huge sold out in minutes it's probably going to be like a huge pre-order thing because like i have a friend who collects dolls and it's like this whole club Mm -hmm. and you can only like get certain dolls from the club and this Mm -hmm. that and the other it's very serious honey it's Mm -hmm. like Ticketmaster and taylor swift Mm -hmm. it is it is (laughs) it is well gosh does that mean we're gonna struggle to get one 
I think we probably will be struggling, girl. We might have to recruit some of these doll collectors to help us. I know, because sometimes you have to like sign up way in advance and you like my friend tells me all the time is like he's like oh i put a de- deposit down for this doll. i'm like you're putting a deposit down for a doll that doesn't come out for like another year and a half like what oh my god it's, honey it's wild wow it's wild it it really is but i mean hey it is it is what it is and uh cheers toast bravo to all the doll collectors yeah yeah well speaking of collecting things we have our merch store back up and running back by popular demand so if you want to again support us speaking of supply chains <laughs> and <laughs> collecting things head over to Mariah, the Mariah link is in the description and go check out some merch get yourself um some Mariah report swag I'm telling you, girl, I got our little coffee mug and I got mine with like the black coloring on it, yeah. but you can get it in a multitude of colors and it's so cute. That's cute. Look how adorable. I know. I'm really happy with the way all the merch turned out this oh time my around. It, oh my, it, it, me too. And it's like perfect for a cup of tea. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely the hoodie, perfect. I'm loving it right now. Like it's got the perfect hood on it, but then you throw on the denim jacket to the layered look. It's a look. Oh. In the, I'm wearing it oh. in the streets, in public, and everything. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm mm-hmm. down for that. I'm wearing the t-shirt today. You can't really tell because the mic, but I just have. Cute. It's good. The t-shirt's good, too. That's a good Cute. t-shirt. Simple. It's very comfortable, actually. It's very yeah. soft. Good fabric. Very, very easy on the body. And I think it's a, tr- it's a trendy logo. Like, it's... You, Girl. You can wear that around. I'm wearing- Girl, I'm wearing this. Yes. I'm, I could throw a denim jacket over this and yes, wear it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, anyway, so again, check out the link in the description. Just go do some browsing. Free shipping on orders over 50 bucks. There's good stuff in there. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All I want, our favorite girl. Here she is. Here Back. she is. Now, did it come in early this year? Because I feel like last year there's a little struggle. We was fighting off the Adele. Took a minute to get rid of her. Yes, I think so. But honestly, I think it was probably about the same time that it went number one last year, too. Mm. I think because like this. OK, we're two weeks out from Christmas now mm-hmm. or one week, 10 days, weeks. less than two oh, weeks. Well, thank you for the math, because I would have <laughs> never thought of just doing a simple <laughs> math equation. I'm like, one week, two weeks. How many? Just count the days, girl. Um, OK, so <laughs> a little over a week. So it sounds about right. It sounds about right for it to be hitting uh, right now. Yes. And it it is also predicted to hit next week as well, which is a great thing. Yes. Good. Two more weeks under the belt. Absolutely. Um, And then then we'll hit the third week in New Year's. I think it it usually will hit the third week as well, Mm -hmm. Um, which I'm not sure because how the math dates, the dates of the charts actually go, if that's going to be a 2023 week Mm. or not. Because mm-hmm. like last year, that third week was a 2022 week, and the year before too, it spilled over. Yeah, but I don't know if it's going to happen this year, just because the, the how the dates are running. Mm-hmm. But um, but anyways, um, well, of course, as soon as Mariah got the news, she uh, did a little post um, wearing this beautiful uh, yellow little robe. It looked like I was like, all right, Queen. Yeah, like a kind of gold-ish, yellow gold, maybe. Yes, I haven't seen that silk before. Yes, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but she so yeah, that's back. A something. Yes. Okay, now if you recall, I think it was last year, maybe even the year before as well. We have our mathematician whiz listener Landon who crunched the calculator and was is predicting the future of all I want. Remember? Well, yeah, absolutely. The numbers so, are, are adding up very quickly. They're actually now starting to manifest. Like, he, yeah, you know, I think uh, starting to we're starting to see uh, what these predictions were um, come to light. One of the predictions is that eventually in the future, all I want is going to become the biggest selling song in recorded history ever in the world. Oh, Do you remember that? I one? believe that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we're on track this year because this year it is now officially the ninth, number nine, best-selling song 
in history. We're on the we're in the top ten of best selling songs in history now. Honey, here we go. It's starting. It's absolutely starting. Isn't uh, that wild? It hits, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Like of all time. Crazy. All time in the world. I mean, it's just it's every year it gets more and more, and it's crazy to see just because you think, well, everybody's heard it. Everybody, I mean, out here in the streets, I, I'm hearing it in the streets even. I know. Same. No, me too. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I, like, I was uh, leaving work one night and I get off work late. It was like 1 a.m. And there's, um, you know, a car with the windows down blasting all I want for Christmas is you, honey. They were celebrating. Mm-hmm, right there. Mm-hmm. In the mm-hmm. middle of the streets. Same thing over here in New York. I was walking down Columbus Avenue. It was like early evening, or maybe like a Sunday or Saturday. Crowded streets, lots of traffic, people all over the place. Someone on a motorbike blasting all I want for Christmas. Oh, out for the general right. public to hear it. All right, I'm down for that. On the on the on on a, a a motorbike or like a scooter. It was a motorbike. Okay, what's the difference? Just bigger like, wheels. Oh, because you have to put gasoline in it? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Okay. Get, okay. One it of those. It was big. It was big. <laughs> you know me over here in LA, I'm thinking, okay, like a little scooter and they have a boom box. No, this was like a... A, a, a juicy motorbike. A, a mobile, a, a vehicle. This is a vehicle. A vehicle. Yes. Yes. I'm okay. sure you need a, a particular license <laughs> to be riding it. To be, okay all right so we love we're getting it from all the angles all the angles but literally getting played in the streets all the time yeah uh, from coast to coast coast uh-huh. to coast now here is something very interesting um this year mariah's hitting all these new records all these charts all these things today I came home and, you know, I always just turn the TV on because I just can't be in silence. So I'll turn the TV on or I'll turn the music on or whatever. And it was my my very beloved, I think, KTLA News. Mm-hmm. And they were doing like this um, poll. Apparently, um, uh, a, a journalist or somebody from financialbuzz.com conducted a poll about the best and worst Christmas songs across the nation. Mm. And the best one across the nation, I think each, they did one in each state and the state of California, the most loved Christmas song was Feliz Navidad. I was like, okay. okay. All I Want for Christmas was not in the top five, which I thought was very, very suspicious. I was going to say it can't be. Very suspect. Very suspect. And then they flip it around and they say they also, Financial Buzz, did a survey, a poll about the worst Christmas songs collectively from each state of the United States of America. And guess what was number one? Tell me. Hmm. All I want for Christmas is you. This just sounds like fraud. And I'm like, this is totally fraudulent. We yes. want a recount. I don't know who. Uh-uh. I want to see who voted. I want to see where this comes from. Yeah. I'm not buying it. No. And how dare you? How dare you? That just sounds like hate. It, and I was I was not accepting it. I was like, no, no, no. Who am I writing a letter to? Okay. I, let me get that mailing address. How dare you? I want I want facts. I want figures. Now, isn't KTLA a part of Fox? Uh, uh, Honey, I'm stopping. Uh, No more. (laughs) Boycotting. Yeah, that sounds... I mean, it's not KTLA's fault. It was was financial buzz that they got all this uh, information from. But I was like, this is not sounding like it's... It doesn't sound legit. Also, I've never, ever heard of financial buzz. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Who is that? And how do we even know? Like, yeah, that could be Joe Schmo down the street. Also, excuse How me, do you... what does finance have to do with Christmas songs? Yeah, what do y'all unqualified. know? Unqualified, unqualified, yeah, very unqualified, very yes. unqualified. Because there's no way that it's the number one song in all these countries and on top of the charts on the Spotify's, the Apple iTunes, the, all of this. I mean, all I want for Christmas is you was number one on the global Spotify 200. Yeah. So where's Financial Buzz getting that information? Oh, where? I don't see it. I don't understand right. it. 
receipts. So anyway, the receipts. I, I have no receipts, but there are other good, good receipts that um, have come out this week with All I Want for Christmas is You going number one again. And number nine, of- world best selling songs ever, Financial Buzz. Yeah. Fi- <laughs> <laughs> I'm, we're tagging them in this video. <laughs> yeah. How dare they? Um, how dare they? Because does Financial Buzz know that this is, um, that All I Want for Christmas is You going number one again becomes the first song in history to reach number one in four separate chart runs from 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022? First song Mm -hmm. to ever do that. Four years. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. And we all know Mariah is the queen of number ones. I mean, always. This extends her record for most weeks at number one. 88 weeks at number one in total of all her songs. See, now there's no stopping it. Now that record you just mentioned is going to be again next year. And then after right. that, after that, who who is going to do that, catch up? Nobody no will ever catch up to that because not only that, like this week is her 88th week at the number one spot. Next week is going to be her 89th week at number uh. one. Uh huh. You know what I mean. So it's just yeah. every year it's going to add two to three more weeks to her number one chart run. Uh huh. Which is literally iconic. Iconic. Lit- literally. Wow. Okay. That's wild. Absolutely crazy. And like, uh, I can't say enough about it. Cannot say enough. Well, now we know who reads Financial Buzz, idiots. Yeah, yeah, nobody's. Because yeah. I don't know who they are. Uh huh. I don't know them. I do not know them. <laughs> Wait, so tell me that chart again. She it's the first I mean that stat, it was um the first person to be number one in consecutive charts, different charts. In four separate chart runs, so four separate times. So all I want for Christmas Four separate times. Four separate in four separate chart years. Chart years, I wow. Guess. Okay. You know what I mean? So she invented a whole new record. Oh, of course, always. Uh huh. You know, and then when it goes, because no other song has gone number one that many times. times. Like, because each year is a chart run, I guess, you know? Right. I mean, maybe a crossover, end of year crossover, like, okay, two, Max, Taylor Swift, Adele, or whatever. But now she's gone, right. gone like, four. You might, yeah, like, you might, like, if you hit it at the end of the year, you might, like, make a two. Like, you know, you got two weeks in like the end of December of 2001, and then mm-hmm. you got two weeks or one week in the first week of 2003. Mm-hmm. Like you would, you would do that, but no song has ever done that until now. Wow. Interesting. I'm telling you. Look at that. Yay, all I want. I, doing the most. Yes. <laughs> definitely doing the most because okay here's the other thing i know we're not talking about the concerts this week um because we have a whole separate show there but at madison square garden she was presented with a plaque for all i want for christmas is you going 12 times diamond i guess 12 million oh. sales oh my is lord that what you call it i guess yeah I guess <laughs> there haven't there haven't been many songs that have done it actually. I think um just I think from my uh little knowledge, I think Katy Perry's Fireworks, Firework is the only song that has sold like 12 million. Really? I think I mean I don't know. Lambs, let me know. Is that according what to Financial songs? Buzz? I know right. <laughs> 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 Hopefully that information is from the RIAA <laughs> the recording RIAA is the recording industry yes. association something that one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're legit. They're legit. <laughs> wow, okay. What was I'm I'm still mind boggled by it being the number ninth best selling song in history already. Because well, I thought only... we'd start seeing that when I'm old. Old, old. I didn't realize no, it'll happen no. now. Mm-mm. No, it'll be up there. It'll be up there very soon. Because again, you think, okay, so last year it was certified 10 million. 
Right. So within one year, it sold two million. Two more million. Now it's twelve million. So now when you keep adding it up, I mean, I don't know what the number. I know the number one selling song is "Candle in the Wind," mm-hmm. Elton John, Princess Diana. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how many copies that sold. So it's like, okay, well, if Mariah's collecting two million a year, mm-hmm. she's going to be up there before you know it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wild. It's wild. Iconic. Yes. Iconic behavior. Yep. <laughs> and she does it well. She Gosh. Does it very well. I wonder when it, when it will end. It seems like Absolutely it's unstoppable. Never. Absolutely never. No. And, you know, there's all these other, like, TikTok videos. It's doing, like, major numbers on TikTok. There's videos that Mariah is responding to, like, on uh, social media of, like, little young kids singing it and Mm -hmm. all kinds of cute little things. So it's, like, even the younger generation and the the Roblox kids and all of that kind of stuff, honey, it's going to go on forever. It's not going to stop. It's just not going to stop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, wait. I have a stats update. Yes, okay. Number one best-selling... This is actually an interesting list. Number one best-selling song in the world ever, in the history of the world, is Candle in the Wind with 21.3 million points. I guess that means okay. units moved. Um, guess what number two is? What is... I don't know. I find this shocking, but I'm okay with it. Blinding Lights, The Weekend. And how many is that? 21.29. Really? Million points, yeah. Isn't that interesting? Because that song hasn't been out very long. No, I rem- but I do remember like it rained for like over a year in the charts. People loved it. Okay. Um, I honestly, I, I could not tell you how that song goes. How does that song go? It's good. I like I like the whole what the weekend's doing. He's got good stuff. I'm not mad at the weekend. I'm just saying no, no. I don't I don't know what that how that song sounds. Well, for context, I will always love you. Whitney Houston is number five. She's got fifteen point five million points. So okay. now all I want is at number nine, and she's at fourteen point seven million points. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. so yeah, th- by this time next year, she's gonna overtake Whitney probably. Yeah, so where's Whitney at 15? Yeah, and then we have to get... Okay, so we'll get to number five by next year. But then I think to get to the number one is is the climb. Yeah, that might take that might take a couple of years, but yeah, that's fine. But again, like these um, top three songs, they're not really active now, so... Right, that's why the only chance of any other song coming up in that chart, just Mm -hmm. in that top 10, is All I Want for Christmas is You. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, uh, I Will Always Love You, like, that's not selling millions. Mm -hmm. That's definitely not happening. I mean, we love it, but, like, it's not selling 2 million copies a year. Right. Um, Blinding Lights, I mean, that might still be selling something. I'm not sure, but millions? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But that's all. Blinding Lights is also still... Like, let's say it's still getting streamed now. Like, it's still in its, like, active phase, I guess, or maybe the tail end of it. It'll die off eventually. Exactly, exactly. Like, that's probably the only active song on on that chart. On the chart. Do you have the whole chart? chart? Yeah. Candle in the Wind, Blinding Lights, Shape of You, Ed Sheeran. Um, Okay. Dance, Monkey, Tony, Tones and I. I don't even know what that is. Girl, where is this? Is this list from Financial Buzz? (laughs) (laughs) I will always love you. Stay. What's stay? Kid Laurie and Justin Bieber. Oh, no, I don't know that. Everything I do, I do it for you, Brian Adams. That's a classic. Oh, that was big. That was a big one. That was a big one. Happy Pharrell. That was big. That was big. Yes, yes, yes. Um, All I Want for Christmas, number nine. We Are the World, USA for Africa, 1985. All right. That's a top ten. Most of those seem like they, I don't know what in the Dance Monkey. I mean, I know that song. I definitely know that song. And it's cute. It's a little cute song. Mm. But it's already like top five best-selling songs of all time. That's crazy. Yeah. Number four. Wow. Well, I hope
hope someone's making money off of that. All they right. must. They must. Um, so there you have it. There that, you have it. That's that's the wrap up for all I want for Christmas is you number one. Um, sales, 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 all kinds of it. I love I it. Know. Yes. Yay. I love it. We love everything. We've been seeing Mariah on social media, all the clips. So again, she's everywhere. All the kids are loving her. Um, but you know, all the lambs have been out in New York and they've been doing all the parties, after parties. And the other big thing that happened um, this week outside of the concert was Mariah over there on Broadway. I mean, not technically, but like sort of. Yes, producing Some Like It Hot, the yes, new version. It, it just came out. Yes, and I think the gag is, so if you have ever been to a Broadway show here in New York, similar to when you go to the cinemas, they ask you to turn off your phones. Uh, they make a, a vocal announcement into the audience saying, you know, the show's about to start. Please turn off your phones. Don't make noise. Yada, yada, yada. And so for some like a heart, it's Mariah who's doing the announcement for the people. Yes. And oh my God, that's so, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Cute. And um, I think she also like sent like a congratulatory like gifts to the cast members and the crew and stuff like that. So I mean, she is definitely um, a part of that production over there, even though she's over here at the sell sold out Madison Square Garden. She's a little busy, a little busy, busy. busy. But um, um, I hope the show does well over there in in uh, New York City. All yeah. the lambs should go see it. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a good time. Yes, absolutely. All right. I think that wraps up the show, right? I think we've covered everything that we can. Well, no, we haven't. What did we forget? So it is that time of year again when uh, we need our listeners to send us a voice memo or a video. Send it to mariahreport at gmail.com. The email is in the description. And tell us your favorite Mariah Carey moment of 2022. The year is over again. Yes, we're going to wrap up this year and we want to hear what your favorite moments are. So send us an audiogram or uh, an email, uh, however you want. And uh, we will put it on the uh, finale show of we'll, this year's uh, Mariah Report. Yeah, we'll play them on the show. We'll comment on them. I love he We love hearing from you guys. I, I like love these episodes that we do when we hear from the listeners. Oh, yes. Yes. Fun. Because there's so many little things that happen. And then like people will remind us like, oh, my God. Oh, remember. Oh, you know, it's almost like a whole reliving of the whole year. So yeah. please send us everything. Tell us everything. Yes. Uh, we want to hear from you. And it's been a year. Masterclass. Big energy. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So many things. I know. Remember for so long, there was nothing going on. And now there's so much. I know. I know. I know. Magazine covers. The yes. WF Yes, the yes. Funko Pops. I know. Uh, you know, the children's book, all kinds yes, of things. Yes, yes. All right. Tell us your favorite moments. Keep it to about two minutes ish or under and send it to MariahReport at gmail.com and we'll play it here as the end of year episode. Yes, we can't wait to hear from you guys. Yes. All right. So you guys do that. We're going to check out now <laughs> and we'll be back next week with the full recap and report of the Christmas specials. Merry Christmas to all. Yes, it'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. All right. See ya. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Reezy Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.